Let's get straight into it. And I want to obviously start with COVID because it's been the dominant factor. And if we have a look at a recap of where we are at with COVID on a global basis, I put this up last year and I've kept last year's ranking from the December 20 seminar. And you can see pretty much everybody stayed in main position. The USA is still the number one country you know, that has been affected the most by COVID. You know, worldwide, though, incredibly, we have still got 500,000 cases a day being re recorded. Now, having said that, the world is now getting more relaxed with COVID. Not like that here in Australia, where I'm still hiding out in Perth, but the world is generally saying, look, it's here, we've been through the worst, let's get the vaccine out, let's start opening up. But that's with an incredible 500,000 cases a day. You can see there's currently still 19 million active cases on the planet, 6 million of those in the US alone. You know, uh, that was in December, and now we've still got 19,000, 18,000 million, 700,000 this year. So we're basically at the same level where it hasn't changed month much 12 months on. You know, the US still the dominant force with active cases. That's having a surge as we go through. But you can see total cases around the world since it began was 66 million in December, and it's boomed up to over 200 million cases of COVID recorded since it all began. So it's increased in 12 months. You know, 100 and you know, 60 odd million people have now had COVID more than last year. That's phenomenal. Sadly, deaths has gone from 1.5 million deaths to 4.7 million deaths. That's tragic. So that shows the severity of what we've been dealing with ever since COVID dropped on the doorstep around November, December of 2019. You can see there, the USA, as I say, has been the worst affected. India now in second place, you know, but everywhere else is still going pretty strong. Australia has done remarkably well. It's sitting at 113th on the list of impact. You know, it was 95 12 months ago, and it would have been a lot lower down the line had it not been for the recent breakout in you know, Sydney predominantly and now Melbourne in the east coast of Australia. Those two have pushed the numbers up to where we're now at about 1,800 cases a day thanks to the Delta variant. Now, we've still had surprisingly few cases. We had 20,000 this time last year. Yeah, and we've now got 28,000 of total cases through Australia. Now, bear in mind, most of those have come from incoming passengers coming back in during the COVID restriction period and catching it from overseas, not necessarily in Australia, but it's still there. Total case load you know, has been 80,000, yeah, and we've had 1,100 deaths. So that's, again, very tragic, but it's not catastrophic like it has been in many other jurisdictions. But again, if anyone doubts the severity of COVID, you just have to have a quick look at that scorecard to see the massive impact. Over 200 million people impacted, over 4.7 million deaths. That's pretty tragic. 